<coughs> Welcome to DC. Bag of soap. Uh, so, uh, what's bothering me this this time? The DVD releases. The DVD releases of the DC movies so far. In order to, I don't know, spike up sales. I probably used the DVD um, covers for the screen save on this and a lot of people probably reported on it already um, some people got excited um, when they first seen it that it was some sort of special edition on Amazon but that's not the case all it really is is some sort of um, what Marvel has done with their DVDs and changed the front cover of it to to somehow resemble some form of collection and so I mean it wasn't that long since Justice League came out so there's not much time gone by for, for the need to bring all this about, I mean, I don't know how much money was involved to do this, to reissue it, you know, and you start to wonder, surely they know by now that there is a campaign out there for some, for a Zack Snyder cut, or at least some sort of added edition that that was taken away from the movie you know there's all this talk about October but I don't buy into that I don't buy into it because surely something must have been said something must have been said at Comic Con and wasn't I know there's a story going around because this one person says it that um, they didn't want to take any uh, anything away from Zazam and Aquaman and as if any of you have followed me through and through no way would you be able to extract you know would you would you be able to somehow belittle any of those two films by mentioning a cut from Zack Snyder uh, in fact it would enrich everybody's excitement for not all, uh, for everything that's coming out in DC there is a fan base out there that wants to close the book on the Zack Snyder trilogy they want to have his last arc of a story even though it's not his story um, that he really wanted to tell at least it would be something close to to his sort of ending and as I said before, I, I mean, there are elements that's came about that has, that has, and I mentioned in my last video about that, Marvel Liar and stuff like that, and that Zack doesn't read comics because he made Dick Grayson, uh, Dick Grayson, um, you know, the one that's, who got killed. And I saw, of, I kind of see eye to eye on that one. I mean, no way should that Robin shoot be Dick Grayson. You know, and I know there was talks about Zack Snyder bringing in a female Robin again, going with the the Dark Knight book. But it was meant to homage it, not do it. If you're really going to do the Dark Knight book, I mean, okay, you sort of announced a quote from it when you first announced Batman v Superman. You had the Batman with the the suit going up against him, but it was a sort of different arc. And I am so sick and tired of this. Somehow we need women um, to fill in men's roles. We don't. We want women to do women roles. And yes, okay, in Dark Knight, the Robin was a woman role, but... Let's have at least 
our own boy wonder for a wee while before you you cut him off in the first film and then get a girl. You know, I mean, people want fans, the public want a DCU, and maybe that's what Jeff Johns uh, had wanted as well. He wanted some connectivity, and maybe in, in that way, maybe the studio was right to intervene in some way. You know, but not not in a big way. Just say no to the little things like no, don't make that as actually don't make that decoration. Don't go there with a, a girl Robin. But that's about as much you know taken away from the story as you as as it need be. You know, because you've got to look after the fans. And but there's a wee bit of overkill when you're looking after the fans. And, you know, an overkill is making a film that is reminiscent to the Marvel movies. And, oh my god, my uh, partner, she, she, it was her birthday the other, the other day, and she was, this guy always sends her two, two DVDs every birthday and Christmas and stuff. Last time it was the Spider-Man Homecoming. Wow, that was bad. And this time it's Black Panther and Tomb Raider. Mm -hmm. I told him I'd rather he sent the Mrs. Porn or something disgusting rather than a Marvel movie. I told him, you know, I basically told her and to tell him not to send that sort of Marvel filth to the house. You know, let's, if you want to send filth, at least make it real and send some good old-fashioned porn. Anyway, that's drifting off the subject. So, yeah, I am, I'm totally aghast. I don't know, I mean, they, but by now, what I take this to be is they're, they're nowhere near, we're not, nowhere near a Zack Snyder Cut being released. Because why, why would they release a Zack Snyder Cut now? after just releasing some other weird DVD edition of the movie. And what I've been what I've been hearing it's even more expensive now. You know, to to have this, the price of a three D player you know, a three D DVD for a Blu ray. Why? When you can still buy, you know, the normal edition of the film because I don't think they're much extra. And let's face it, if there's five or six minutes extra in the film, it's got to be with Superman looking at the suit. And with that, but you can't really join that onto that film without somehow changing the music score. So, Warner Brothers, this is another big mistake for you guys. And I, I'll carry on defending you, I'll carry on saying, no, don't boycott Warner Brothers, because I... I hate plonkers that say stuff like that because you do bring out good films and that's not how you support the movie. How you support your own franchise and have your say is, is by doing what uh, is on the internet these days uh, about the snail mail, letters to Walter Hamada saying they want the Snyder Cut release. You know, people standing outside Warner Brothers release the Snyder Cut. That sort of thing. You know, that, that is how you protest. Don't, you know, stop going and see a Warner Brothers movie. You know, because if they can make a mistake, if they can make a mistake like this by bringing out a different uh, edition of it, then surely they'll, they'll get the wrong idea about people boycotting them. The movie they won't put two and two together, so let's just let's assume that they're daft. Uh, no, I'm um, just. Let me know what you think about these um these uh, new additions to the DVD. That, if anything, they might give you an extra ten minutes of special edition. Uh, special behind the scenes, but honestly, behind the scenes action that we want is Zack Snyder talking about the film, and un and unless 
unless we, you know, until we see Zack Snyder talking on one of these extra DVDs, then then we know that this isn't the film that he wants to put his name to. Uh, but I do believe if the Snyder Cut comes out, we will get some sort of um, extra with him talking to us. And after this Snyder Cut, everyone can move on, fans can stand united. Thanks for listening.